can release your video order. Oh, we're live, guys. Yay! Hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah, so... So we're broadcasting live now through YouTube. Um, this is our first um, art live streaming. Um, so I am joined by my two wonderful cousins. Shout out Therese. Hi Therese. Oh. Um, and um, and Jumana and Crystal. Yo. Uh, Hello. Hi, hi, hi. I'm cutting, but it's okay. So the YouTube has like a small, a slight delay. Um, but okay, let's get started. We actually started coloring our paper jeepneys. Um, yes. So here's a sample of um, what we have for now. Ah, um, it's got flavor. So after that, we also have another page. So that's the extra parts of the jeepney. And then the finished product will look like this. Wow. Wow, it's cool. I want one. So it's got wow, like it's so cool. Bumper and handle thingy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's my sign jeepney party. Yay. 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 <laughs> okay, so party. 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 Um, so Therese and Crystal are both in California. Hello and from LA. Hello from OC. Yeah, and hello from me in New York. <laughs> um, so yeah, so basically how it's going to go is just a loose um, party. Um, we're going to keep on coloring our stuff. Um, so hopefully the first half hour of this live stream, we're going to finish our coloring. And then the other half will be um, assembling it and taping it together. Um, so as we're coloring, we're going to be, I'm going to be answering some questions, you know, um, mm -hmm. and we'll just, we'll just go from there. Okay. okay. So, um, I guess we'll start with Krista, like, um, tell me one question because we prepared a list. Okay. So first question would be, what made you want to be an artist? Ooh. Yeah, what is? Oh, shout out to the Flip family who are here and they're from California too. Yay! Hi. Um, so what made me start my career as an artist? Um I'm gonna keep on coloring while I'm answering, so you know. I can Wait, we can color the second page now, right? Yeah, you can start coloring the second page because we're still like working on ours. Okay. Um, so I think I've always been drawn to the arts before. When I was young, I just like the colors and stuff. And like how I remembered it before was um, like, my mom would buy so many like children's books mm -hmm. and you know the books before because we lived in the philippines and it was such a small town you know how like when um there was an encyclopedia before like some a salesperson oh yeah oh yeah that's your right. house and be like oh oh hey here are books of like different things um do you want to buy it for your kids something like that so I think through that, my mom like collected like books for us. And I just really like the different styles and illustrations there. Um, it was very creative. There were books that were like 
shaped like a triangle. <laughs> there, there were books like um, that were very nice illustrations or like very like, you know, the ABC bear books, like the cardboard ones. I don't know if you remember those guys. I didn't have but, that. We only have the encyclopedias. Yeah. So, and there were also like, I remember we have books about horses and butterflies and dinosaurs. Um, oh, yeah. So it made like learning very easy. And I really love the graphics. So for me, that I was just drawn to that. And I started, you know, I think my parents also saw that I was like coloring and also painting a lot. So they invested in like, taking me to those classes. Um, so that's where I got started. That's fine. Cool. Yeah. So out of all of this now, how did you start your small business? Um, so my small business, I don't really, I haven't really like talked to everybody about it, but I started it because um, I lost my job. Mm -hmm. So, I know when that happened, I talked to you guys um, right away. Um, so it was sad. It, it was like, you know, I wasn't expecting it at all, but also kind of expecting it because the pandemic was like, like all of a sudden, like changed so many lives and, you know, like work, how we were kind of forced into working from home. Um, but I think that because of that, I was able to have time to think about like, oh, what, what do I want to do next? Mm -hmm. And it, like you guys know me and I've been telling about, you know, the story that, oh, hey, I want to make books. I want to sell my own stuff. And I've been t telling this for like so many years um, and so when the pandemic hit, I really saw it as an opportunity to try something new or try doing this whole entrepreneur life. So um, I kind of just started with a few things on Etsy. I started with uh, planner stuff because that was what I needed. For mm -hmm. me personally, I was like, oh, I wish I had like a template um uh to keep myself organized um and so i was like oh I, I think i can sell this on etsy so that those were like the first products i put out and then me and therese Yay! So therese is a, a video editor and a video producer same with non crystal um so it was kind of even like serendipitous that I'm like, hey, Therese, you want to help me with, um, with uh -huh. my shop? Because I, I wanted to make a, a, I wanted to make a video for one of my products, which is the Parol coloring pages. So even like before, I, I wouldn't have thought of like asking you to help me because, yeah. you know, it's like, Oh yeah, I have a cousin who's a creative too. And like why why haven't I like put two and two together and let's do a collaboration? I don't even know how we went to talk about it. It kind of just happened. Like we were on that one conversation and we're like, yeah, we should do a project together. Like I don't know if you remember it. I, I remember it because um remember you had a friend who had an Instagram and they were they were asking you for a content. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, then you're like, oh, what can we do together? Ah, uh, that makes sense. We kind of suggested the parole thing. Mm -hmm. And this was like way back in August. Yeah. We were planning for something that we were going to sell like. In October. During the, during the Christmas holiday and also October is when we kind of started marketing it. Um, so... We basically just started from nothing. We were just figuring it out. And um, we were just saying, um, 
you know, let's just see how it goes. Mm -hmm. um, if anything comes out with this, it's going to be like a bonus, you know, because we literally were just having fun working together anyway. Yeah, exactly. And mind you, Therese is working a full-time job. Mm -hmm. So I'm so thankful she was able to do that with me. And we've actually had like some really, really good responses. Um, that coloring page that I saw on Etsy is the most like um, viewed. Huh? Superall coloring page? Yeah. So that one is like a lot of people liked it and a lot of people bought it. Nice. Um, wow. And also the other product is the, uh, the paper doll. Mm -hmm. yeah, national costume um, there's a boy and a girl set so and also on YouTube because we up we upload the the videos that we've made so right now the DIY parole video that we did mm -hmm. I think right now it has like 700 views which is like uh, a lot for me for someone who's just starting out um, mm -hmm. so I'm so glad that I was able to reach that audience um, and thankful to our collab so yeah it was fun right now <laughs> making jitneys together I know I'm so happy that you guys are also game <laughs> it's fun I haven't been coloring for a while yeah, yeah. exactly it's sort of like I think like a lot of my products are really like nostalgic. Like yeah. Dolls, it's like, oh, that I used to do that when I was a kid. And like mm -hmm. this, this coloring stuff, we kind of forget because also we're like um, digital creatives. So we always yeah. like work on the I computer. Know. And, you know, we sometimes forget to work with our hands. So that's, that's so true. Sure what I want to do with my shop. Like stuff that are, you know, activities and playful. So that's it. How are you guys? How are your coloring pages? Um, so far, so good. Oh my god, you finished the one page? I'm still stuck on this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's understandable. I have to hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for your next question? Um, or do you want to call her first? <laughs> I feel like I am talking and I'm not like coloring that much. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just a fun question to add to that. Like anyone can answer it, but like. Yeah. What was the last time or like the first time you remember riding a jeepney? Because we all grew up in the province. Oh my God, the last time riding a jeepney. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I think when we were, the last time I was in the Philippines was 2018 and we were all there. Mm -hmm. um, we were there for like this big Filipino festival in our town called Ati Atihan. So... I remember my sister and me had to take a jeep in Manila mm -hmm. um, because in the province, we don't usually take the jeep because, you know, we have cars. Or the tricycle. <laughs> or the tricycle, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because it's not for long distance. Like, Yeah. I don't know. Like, even if, like, yeah. Usually if you're commuting then yes, you would take the jeepney for like the longer mm -hmm. rides if you're going to Banga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I remember we, me and my sister took a bus in Manila. And then I was like, the first five minutes, I was like, oh my gosh, I missed this, you know, riding in a jeepney, blah, blah, blah. And then after like 15, 20 minutes, I like instantly regretted it. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh my God, there's a lot of smoke and it's <laughs> a lot of traffic. Like, and then I was getting dizzy. <laughs> so, 
So that was my memory from it. What was yours? Mine, it took me, uh, I don't know why, because I guess I take the shuttle more or the LRT, MRT more than the jeepney. But I remember the last thing I did was like going to my college entrance exam and I would like commute there. And that was also kind of like my first time riding it. And I was just like, what's yeah. happening? Here? Just get off and get on anytime you want. Because, you know, like my first time in the city for like, like as being my, by myself. And I was yeah. like, hey, I guess you just ride. And I'm like so scared every time because how do you know which one to ride? No one would tell you. People would kind of just say, on. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, now do I pay? And then it's like, and then after a while, you can kind of get used to it, you know? You can, people just yeah, because like, you, you didn't like, like you don't really ride the jeepney in our town in Calibo or in yeah. in Aklan sometimes you would if you were like if i didn't have a ride mm -hmm. um, but no we, we use tricycle though. yeah tricycle Basically. more do you like if you are commuting from kalibo to your town like do you take the tricycle or is there yeah. going there? well there's a multi cam there's an, that's another <laughs> that's another <laughs> transportation yeah so i think i like heard a while back that you know they were gonna phase out the jeepneys what oh, do you know mm -hmm. um fun fact yeah the the grandkid of sarau the first one the very first um maker i guess of jeepney uh-huh or he's the maker of Tiffany, basically. Is uh, my friend, my my batchmate, and it's so funny because he got um he got married this year, and instead of a uh, of a limo, they had a jeepney painted in white. <laughs> oh, that's so cute! It's so cute. Wow, they were able to like trace it back from like their elders. <laughs> that's awesome yeah so f the jeepney is really you know a Philippine i hope they don't face it out it's so iconic you know like yeah it, it's like that's philippines so i think the reason why they were facing it out is because of um i think it wasn't like eco-friendly oh so, they kind of made like I don't know maybe like those are electric jeepneys. Yeah, they when I I think the last time I saw it, went there like maybe two years ago. Um, increasingly there have been more electric transportation, uh, more yeah. so in Boracay. Yeah. Oh yeah, in Boracay. So Boracay is this like beautiful beach that's like about an hour, an hour and a half away from us. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think that like the jeepney is not going to go away, but you know, things change for the better. So if, you know, if e-jeepneys are even more better than, yeah, well, they can well, maybe do that. This is what makes it way more important then. So people can remember what a jeepney looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Grab your own copy now and make your own jeepney. Plug. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, Lee, how did you come about making your products? How does it take? How um, does it take? So, I guess it's about a lot about research. So w before I like made the paper jeepney, I looked up online, like, are there any like three, 3D like jeepneys that are similar to what I'm doing? And there was nothing. So I, mm -hmm. I, really, I really feel attached to the Filipino community. And it's just like in the recent years that I'm like embracing that as part of my culture 
Um, I've been here in New York for almost 10 years next year. What? Um, wow. Yeah. That long. This is my 10th year See? here in LA. <laughs> yeah, it goes by so fast. Um, wait, what was I saying again? <laughs> <laughs> 10 years. Oh, so as I was saying, I've been here for a long time. But when I got here, I I guess like you're trying to adjust and you're like, um, you kind of want to adapt to your environment. So I, I didn't feel comfortable telling people like I was Filipino. I don't know if you guys felt that way too when you first came here. Really? I didn't mind it. I mean, it's so obvious, I guess, with my accent before. I mean, I still have my accent. <laughs> but they can tell. Like, are you filming? I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, so that's why this past couple of years, I, I'm like learning to embrace it. Um, I am Filipino and I'm a designer and I can create products that will, you know, help the new generations of Filipinos who are also like growing up outside the Philippines, but want to feel like attached and have like a piece of their culture with them. So mm -hmm. that's what Muni Muni art is about. Yeah. I think there's definitely those people who not really haven't got grown grew up in the Philippines like how we used to know it like, even for you like I think you won't hear like when you were so young anyway and there's mm -hmm. always a divide of like okay for me to fit in I need to assimilate in the culture um so you know you have to kind of have that switch but you know I I honestly so pretty <laughs> for me I honestly you know I never I never told but I'm so proud to be a Filipino, but I'm not the person like, I'm Filipino, hey, what's up, you know, I'm Filipino. But you know what, which is very refreshing there. I know a friend that he didn't grow up there, but he is Filipino, but he is that person that loves Filipino culture. And it kind of opened my eyes to like, wow, this is yeah. really proud of. Shout out to Leo, <laughs> Albea. So, yeah, so he's, it just opens my eyes of like, wow, it's something really we could be proud of. And like a lot of people find a common goal to like, mm -hmm. you know, like pursue and lift up each other up. Like right now what you're doing, we're kind of doing this Japanese and we're, you know, celebrating our being Filipino in a sense, which is really cool. Exactly. And like the Filipino community is like very, very tight. <laughs> And um, like the Philippines is very like patriotic too. Mm -hmm. So when like there's a there's a Filipino, even like a half Filipino who's like famous, everybody would know about them. Yeah. <laughs> because it's word of mouth, like, oh hey, did you know the singer is like, you know, Filipino and blah 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 blah. I know. You know who I currently well, I kind of know knew it before, but I kind of forgot. But okay. because watching this show called The Masked Singer and yeah. Nicole Schwarzinger is Filipino. I was like, she's Filipino! I love her! <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So it's a really like um, nice community and everybody's like, you know, being helpful. Um, so it's, it's just it just like warms my heart that I'm able to contribute to that. In New York, Nang, is there like a, a community, or like a really strong Filipino-based community there that people well, can agree? Yeah, so now, like, I know, like, LA is, a, there's a lot of Filipinos there, right? Yeah, it's basically Philippines. It's basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, here in New York, I feel like it's just starting. Like, right now, there's a, there's like a Simbangabi. So shout out to Cabecera NYC. So really? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so they're kind of like starting this like community 
of like food vendors. I don't know if you guys saw, um, but they were selling like fishball stand and like they had a fishball stand like Kwek Kwek, Kikyam and like all the other Filipino street food. So they're bringing it to the streets of New York. Yay. So I think it's a great like, it's a great way to like bring people together with food um and so now they're they're having the simbanga for five days and they're gonna sell like you know the food that you would eat for simbanga do you guys have any favorites for simbanga like what, like if you attended it what do you like eating but I only did it once, so I feel like I also only did it once. <laughs> I think after we just fall asleep or like something. Yeah, do you remember like our grandma, our Lola? Mm-hmm. She would always be at the church, and then I think like she would like give lugao. Is that? Do you guys remember that? No. No. <laughs> So, because we don't go there, we we are in yeah. um the other side of the town. Oh yeah. So we would just go there. That's true. So I, for me, I remember like our Lola, our grandma, um, would like um donate like this amount of food, and then somebody is gonna cook, cook it. And lugo is basically in English like porridge. Oh yeah. Um so it's kind of nice. It's it's a nice feeling when you wake up that early. It's like an achievement. <laughs> I love my sleep. <laughs> Have you guys ever finished the 9 days? Yeah. No. <laughs> Jury did. Yeah, so the thing in the Filipino culture is if you if you finish the nine days and they said like you can wish for one thing and it will come true. I like I was religious one year. <laughs> I attended like the Simbanga bit every day. And then for some reason on the last day. We had to travel to, I think, like Capis or somewhere. And then we got home at like one in the morning already. And so it was the last day. And then for some reason, my mom didn't wake me up. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) I was like so upset. I was like, all my work. (laughs) Last day. I just miss one day. It's like, it's like oh, you can't get it back. And you put in so much effort. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if like some people really believe in that. Yeah. Like you make a wish. Um, I mean, nothing's gonna, you're not gonna lose anything if you do it. Yeah. True. If anything, it's just you're being more holy and yeah. relax, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because it, it takes if you're not a morning person, that's like a struggle, you know? Like getting up what? Uh, the mass starts at like four? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. How are you guys? Yeah, and if you're a kid. You, you wouldn't want to do that yeah that's true too or like if you're if your parents brought you to the church and then they're like being impatient because they're so sleepy then they're just gonna be noisy in church oh i have a question regarding the coloring thing. yeah what is this <laughs> how do, where do you put this Oh, that one is the handle for the for the this one. Oh wow! I can, like hold it. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, now I get it. Yeah. Thank you. 
So wait, one. You tape it. It's glue. Yeah, you would tape it. You glue this part, right? Okay. Yeah. How are you doing, Pierce? I'm great. Look at me. This is so cool. I think you've made. Oh, so Therese is done with the first page. <laughs> I know, Therese. How did you do it? I feel like I should change my like, cause I've been using colored pencils, like. I know, colored so hard. And it takes forever. So I was thinking now, you made so many things. Like you make the jeepney, the parole, your little people dress up um, with the, you know, co co Filipino um, national costume. costume. Yeah. Do you, I was wondering, like, do you ever have creatives block? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and how do you get rid of it um i think you know there are just days where you're in a funk and like no matter how hard you try it's like nothing's working so i guess it's more so you listen to, to your own body like okay i think i need to take a step back before i you know do something new mm -hmm. and for me, like, I think it's about, like, doing your research. That's how I work. I don't know if, like, other designers, like, work a different way. But I would, like... But look... again, what did you say? So I, like, do research. Oh. I would look up, like, different illustrators. I would even go on Etsy and just, you know, see what other products are there. Um, and basically, you know, that kind of inspires me to create my own thing because I see like, oh, other people like this product. Um, so if I make my own, you know, they're going to like it too. Mm -hmm. So basically, I, I like just make something that I like to make. Because if you don't like to make, if you don't like what you're doing, you're not gonna finish it. Yeah. Mm. So it has to be something that, you know, like your, your why, the reason why you're doing it is strong. Um, and for me, it has been like being in touch with my Filipino uh, community and you know, just growing materials from that. And also I've, I've also been thinking about new products that also would appeal to non-Filipinos. Mm. So next year is gonna be crazy. Wow. Oh, I like, yeah, so I like have a small notebook and I like mind map like what my products will be for next year. And it's a lot. <laughs> like, this is crazy. How do you even figure out how to make this? Like, I know. So you did that's this from scratch? Really yeah. Nice. So I actually have the other prototypes um, hiding somewhere. But I love the program Illustrator. So it's an Adobe software. Um, and I just, I kind of like started there. Well, well, the, I think the first part was like making sketches and like, so I have like a folder of all like jeepneys. So I know how it looks like from different angles. And I kind of started on Illustrator and then, so it's a digital program. Um, so then I like printed my first draft and I assembled it and I was like, oh, it kind of feels like too short um, or it can be like the wheels can be larger. So this one is really a product of, you know, testing it out, like cutting it a million times and seeing how it fits. Um, but yeah, and just, you know, I think what my aim was is to make it like close enough to what an actual jeepney looks like. So trial and error. How many times did you do it like revisions wise? 
I think maybe like six times. That's not bad. It's not a lot, actually. It's I would not be bad. Um, this does not like a tip for my first one. Yeah, so the last, do? the last part I updated was the bumper part. Because I kind of like made it really hard to cut. And like for me, I want to make products that were simple enough. Um, so I updated that. So now it's like easier to assemble. Um, so I got that feedback from my sister because she did the cheap knee with her friend. Um, and they're like, oh, this bumper is hard to put together. So it's also nice to have other people like try it out. Um, and so, you know, like, okay, I think I have to improve this part. So that's, that's it. And also I have my sister here, Nika, Danica. Um, and she'd also do my prototypes. And, you know, she'd like tell me, okay, fix this one or this doesn't look like a cheap knee yet. So. <laughs> you know what's so cool about this is that you're right. Like the things that you created, like the parole and even the jeepney and even like <clears throat> the dresses. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Somehow like the Filipino culture is always so colorful that this makes it perfect. Yeah. Like that's just a thing even like I don't know, even other transportations, like the tricycle is also very colorful. Oh, yeah. The tricycle? Well, that's, it's coming oh. next year. Oh yeah, I need to make one. Yeah, next year. That's one of Because the... those are like the iconic, like that what makes Philippines star, you know? Like, yeah. What is a tricycle? If you're you're from here, if you're from other country, like if you say a jeepney or like, tricycle like what the heck is that <laughs> even jeepney i was trying to explain it, explain it to my friends i'm like it's a <laughs> it's a truck <laughs> like, it's a very it's long question, truck <laughs> like how would you explain that you yeah. just have to show it mm-hmm. so basically the the jeepneys are um old like military like vehicles back in like I think World War II. Oh really? I didn't even know that. The, the American um, war. So they had all these cheap knees and when the war ended they basically like recycled it into a commuter cheap. So that's the story behind it and just like I think it just grew like you know, you want things to be personalized. So each jeepney is like unique. I think that's just like part of the Filipino culture. You want, colorful. you want things to be customized. And like a lot of, a lot of, I guess like being Filipino is like also being resourceful so you know there's a lot of creativity yeah i think it's like really all the parts of everything i could also say that as an example of how we cook our food like nothing should be left to waste you know every food every part of the pig or the beef cow or the chicken has to be yes I heard that um, before when there was war, Americans would just throw away all those leftover, like, you know, like the intestines or those things that they, you wouldn't see here. Yeah. And Filipinos would pick it and just, and just cook it. Like the head, the head of the pig. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the sisig, right? The face. Yeah. So they make it. You say isao. Isao, which are the intestines. What's your favorite street food? I would say 
Isao, but it depends, I guess. Like, I just recently had Isao, and it it was so gummy. <laughs> it's it's different if you yeah. eat it in the Philippines. It's just way better. Well, it's also weird because people like warn you that you know it's not hygienic, like it's not it's not clean food. Like if um if a foreigner was like gonna try it then they're gonna have like a stomach ache <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i think we're just immune to it yeah that's the thing you have to be exposed to germs to fight germs <laughs> to germs. yeah oh my god guys i'm almost finished with my <laughs> my first page oh my god Okay, I think I have, I have to try a different tactic so I can finish faster. <laughs> How are you guys doing? How's the page two? I'm becoming very like colorful now because I was like, you know what? It doesn't have to make sense. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. And also you have like, you printed out another. Yeah. Another one, so it's just not. Yeah, it was gonna screw up. I was just like, I'll get another one. But you know, I was like, that's what makes Jetney's unique is people were just like, well, if we put this color on this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. So it's crunch time for me. I'm like trying to finish my Jeepney. You know what's so funny now? <clears throat> what? When we started the project for all, we, we were just having fun with it, right? And and I remember just now when Disney released their animation and we were like, what? Oh, there are no chances. Yeah, it was like there was synergy. Like, you know, we were thinking the same thing. Um, and we like, I think like this year I've seen like more more Filipino representation than I have in like a long time. Um, so it was so nice that you know it kind of like worked together, um, and people were like searching for paroles on Etsy, and you know that's why that's how they like find my coloring pages. So it worked out really well, but it was just funny because, you know, like we didn't know they were doing their thing. They didn't know we were all them. But I was like, hey, me and my cousin are making a parole. Can you make an animation? And they were like, we got you. And I was like, cool. We'll release it at that time. And then you can do it like a week, two weeks after. And like, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's so, it's nice. Like this, like, you know, I guess like the entrepreneur life is basically you're just figuring things out. And like, I love doing collaboration, even though I didn't know like how to, you know, manage stuff. And like, I guess like uh, it wasn't like too technical. Like we just like, okay, this one is working. Why don't we try this? Or like, Remember when you were making your Paro Tears? What was your experience? <laughs> it was so freaking hard. I never like, I never thought it would be so hard. And I was like, wow, Paro yeah. is so really tough. Like, they would make so much beautiful pieces. And I was like, I'm trying to make the basic Paro and I can't even make it. It's so freaking hard. Yeah. So it took me like weeks and weeks because I was just like, this is like, I don't know how to make this more beautiful. And then, you know, I had to layer each individual plastic every time to make it like like thicker and brighter and I was like oh my yeah. god so hard and you know what you came out with it with a pretty looking portal all at once for my for my thing so but yeah it was so hard even just grabbing the materials you know I think here yeah I was calling you like hey wait, I don't think we can find it here so I had to like scour all the art uh, stuff uh, the hardware store and I was like I can't find it and then it turns out like you can just order it online and it's like oh okay yeah 
Yeah, we basically started from nothing. <laughs> and then, so the backstory is Therese was going to make the DIY video. So she's in California. So she was getting the materials on her own. And then I was like, okay, let me try and like make my own parole too. And then I was like, oh shoot, this is so hard. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm making Therese do this. <laughs> I was like, I feel your pain. I know, it was so hard. Well, we, yours was even prettier because you were able to put lights in it. And I was like, no, I can't put light. Like, that's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it worked out. That's the ending of the story. <laughs> we made it work. Yeah, which was really fun too, though. Mm-hmm. Just trying to call. It's like, hey, how did you fix this one? Are you going through the same thing? And I think it's making more sense. Like right now, you know, we're doing it together. And like maybe later for the assembly, we're like, okay, how does this work? And stuff like that. Which yeah. is the fun of making it together. Exactly. And that's why, I don't know. This was also just a random concept that I kind of like threw out there. Um, because I saw my sister like do it with her friend and I was like oh that looks like a party <laughs> so right now this this is the product of it we're having a virtual party we're showing people you know how to color stuff actually the coloring part I think takes more the most time right yeah yeah it does. I feel like the assembly is gonna be I'm curious how to do the assembly because it does look like it's so elaborate, you know, like mm -hmm. I don't know how to put them all together, but I think it's really cool. Yeah, I'm here, so I'll help you guys. Yeah, we're in the mm -hmm. presence of it, so it's going to be really easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Lee, like since this like venture, ever since you started this venture, Mm -hmm. Have you, is, were there any doubts or challenges that you've overcome or overcame? A lot of doubts. Um, you know, it's different like every, every week, even every day. Like one day you're like super into what you're doing. And I'm like, yeah, I think people are going to like this. And then the next day you're like, that does not make sense at all. Like, why am I making this? And like, it's such a struggle. Um, so definitely a lot of self-doubt. And, you know, how I overcome that is just to be, to have like your own support circle where you can like say, okay, I'm not feeling so great today. Um, and through, through this whole like pandemic thing, my sister, has always been there for me. So I could just like tell her, I don't feel good this week. And she'd be like, it's okay. It might be a bad week, but it's not a bad life. Next uh -huh. week, next week is like that. good. Like, you know, you're not always stuck in like, in the lost phase. So I guess just, you know, just ride the wave. And then, you know, the sun will come out again. Mm -hmm. that's pretty I like that it's a bad day but it's not a bad life so yeah, yeah and you guys also experience that right because you guys are also creatives yeah. yeah definitely there's always this point where it gets so hard and you're like is this even worth it you know it's like oh, this mm -hmm. there's too many uh, obstacles that's blocking it and like is it even worth it will people like it something like you're always thinking i think that's like as a creative like you it's kind of very personal right like this is your work this yeah is your hard work and it's uh, something visual that people are gonna probably like you know not a lot of people will respond the same way mm -hmm. um but, you know, what matters is the people who like it. Even if there's only, like, one person who likes it, you make that for them. Sure. You just keep on going. 
Okay, so we have 10 minutes and we've been doing this for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's <okay. laughs> yeah, coloring is so tedious. So but can it's I fine. Go with the first page. Are you? Yeah. What happened? Are you done with the first page? I'm done with the first page. The second page, I'm still like working on. Oh, you're almost done. Wait, well, what is this part? This here. Which one? Oh, that one is the hood. Is it oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to start using Sharpie. So <laughs> it will be faster for me. I know, I kind of like coloring with Sharpie because it's like thicker and um, it makes it like brighter somehow. Yeah. So I'm just going. So, did you guys have any idea before you started coloring, like what you wanted your sheet need to be, or you're just like freestyling it? I I had to look for uh, a reference uh -huh. <laughs> because I suck with color, so I need some reference to guide me with the color. Yeah. <clears throat> for me, I did it. Because I was like, this is my journey. But then, at the top of my head, <laughs> I was like, you know what? Um, I'm going to go with the colors that represent the Philippines. So, um, all the colors of the rainbow. I'm kidding. No. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, just a lot of blues, yellows, you know, green. Like, I think all the colors can represent a lot of things in the Philippines. Like, mm -hmm. ocean, trees, the sun. Yeah. Um, you know, so... That's what I had in mind, and uh, I kind of like it. It's going pretty well. So it's kind of a turning out to be like the Philippine flag. Oh, nice. Um, for me, I kind of just started with um, some organic shapes. And I don't know. I guess, like, it looks like, um, like, under the sea, like, I chose like this blue green color and then I used the pink one. So I guess I just freestyled it. There's no there's no reason for it. But I know no. yours was um yours is very interesting because it has like the little wave and even crystals. I think your guys is really nice. Not to mention that mine is not mine yeah. is not <laughs> yours now. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, reference see. crystals um reminds me of like um someone uh, reminds you of a person flower yeah i'm sorry if, it, if a jeepney was a person as a thing like it was it's her like if she was a jeepney that would be her jeepney. <laughs> no way you're, 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 i like that flower power <laughs> Uh, this is actually for my unborn child. <laughs> Look, I have the name E Z. E Z. E Z. E Z. E Z. Easy like Sunday morning. We can't wait now. We can't wait. <laughs> so now I know Therese just gave me a stroller. <laughs> She gave a what? She uh she bought me a stroller already and it came yesterday. Yay! I'm so happy. How sweet. Yeah. And she just bought it herself. I feel like <laughs> it's gonna be like the bully. Yay. The what? The bully. Oh the yeah. She, she is. It's so crazy because we usually bully her. And I guess she adapted that and then she became one. <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't kill you make you stronger. <laughs> yeah. So Natalie, what's your sense of inspiration when you're making all of these creative things that you do? Um source of inspiration. 
I, for me, like my work is really about simplicity. It's about playfulness. Um, and it's very like thoughtful products because I really think about it. Like I don't just like put out a product and like, oh, this, this is okay. Like, I guess like that's my personal personality that I want to make it, you know, better. Mm-hmm. So some of my personal inspirations as a designer, there's this um, Italian uh, designer called Bruno Monari, and he makes a lot of books for children. Um, I really like his work. I also like, um, there's this graffiti designer from Denmark, and his name is like Husk mid something something. It's like hard to pronounce, um, but he makes like I can share it with you guys later. So um, he would just like work on paper, and then he'd have different illustrations, and then he kind of like cut the paper out, and like there's a story. Um, so it's very nice. So that's kind of what I wanted to do with my work, like just playful. I know this is it's amazing. I never did anything like this before, but just the thought of it that you can just like buy a template, mm-hmm. attach it, and have it 3D is so mm-hmm. cool. Exactly. It's, I think, like, I think, like, the assembly part would be like, oh my God, I made that, you know? Mm-hmm. Not like a flat, like, you know, like just a coloring page. Yeah. So I need to concentrate. I'm coloring the little words. So I'm like, hey. <laughs> I feel like I'm like speed coloring right now. It's okay. I'm almost done. How are you guys? Are you guys done? Did somebody finish already? Almost. I'm just coloring the last part. Yeah, I think. Oh, the thing I didn't color. So we have to cut this right after this? Yeah. So basically, like this video, I'm going to like chop it up. um, And some of the content will be posted on my Instagram. So that's Lily J. Raz. Um, Just so you know, people can see like, it's not really that hard to assemble. Um, Mm. But you guys let me know (laughs) how you feel about it. If it's like, you know, easy enough, anybody can do it. I feel like it is. Yeah. If we can assemble it, everybody can. Mm Mm-hmm. So since it's such a long and it's actually been a year of, of, of craziness, mm-hmm. <laughs> being a pandemic been- and all, um, what's your biggest lesson from this year? I think it always comes back to being kind to yourself. And I feel like not a lot of people are kind to themselves when they're like, when they're like struggling, they're they're gonna be like very self-critical, like, mm-hmm. oh, it's your fault why this happened. And it's really kind of like lowers your self-confidence. And I feel like a lot of people have gone through that during this pandemic. And I guess that's just the lesson, you know, be patient. Um, you're, you're working through your own like timeline. Like you can't like compare yourself to somebody like they're on their own journey. Um, and you're on your own. So learn that, you know, it's okay where you are right now and just embrace it and, you know, make the most out of it. So that's, that's what I have to say. That's powerful, though. Guys, I only owe. 
Actually, that's not true. I thought I only had one thing to color. <laughs> There's actually this other thing I forgot. Yeah, initially we wanted to color the first page first, but <laughs> I personally didn't do that. Um, <laughs> so it's taking uh, much longer. We've been coloring guys for an hour now. Really? <laughs> an hour. <laughs> oh, changed my mind. This is okay. No. Okay. Is there like a, a art store there? Like that's really popular? Like here, it's called Blix or Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Oh, yeah. Um, there used to be a, a really big art store here in New York in, in Chinatown. It's called Pearl. Um, and then for some reason, they had to shut down. So that was kind of sad. Um, but yeah, we also have Blix here. We don't have Hobby Lobby. Um, we have Blick, we have like local, um, smaller like art shops. I go to the Da Vinci Supply. I don't know if they mm -hmm. have like other stores in different states, but usually they're like, like their stores are right next to like an art school. So it's pretty convenient that way. Um, but yeah, Blick is good. I've like it's during nice. this pandemic, I've like ordered from them. Mm. Mm -hmm. I have a question. It's yeah. been a while since I've drawn a Philippine flag. Ooh. So can someone explain why? Can I explain what why our Philippine flag is the way it is? Um, no, you want to explain? Or the red go on top? What's the answer? <laughs> you fail <laughs> dude I made I made me think too like what the fuck? where is the red because if it's the other way around it's war <laughs> yeah that's, that's the that's what we learned from school so the Philippine flag there's a color on top of another color so the color on top is blue and then the one on the bottom is red, which means that, you know, we're not in a state of war. Um, and, if, and this hasn't happened, you know, but they said that if the red is on top of the blue, that means that we're in a war. I actually haven't researched if that actually happened. Pardon me. If ever we switch the flag. Yeah. If there Maybe was an EDSA revolution, they might have done that. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> Don't know. I am almost done, guys. Then we can cut. Are you finished now? I'm not. Just a tad bit. Almost there. Three, two, one. Get off. Yeah, I can be finished. Um, I'm just waiting for you guys. You're almost finished, dear? I'm so excited. So now, what, since we've been working from home the entire year, and we've been doing this mm -hmm. uh, for the past, how long have we been in pandemic? Um, New York so. has been on lockdown since March. Yeah. So you have been working from home. So is there any advice that you can give to people who, you know, find it hard to be working from home? Yeah, it was really hard. Did you guys like adjust to? I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? What was the? It was just hard, like typically just how we work is because I work in production. So the only way we were able to keep ourselves employed was 
if we had to put our studio in our apartment. So back when it all started, um, I had like a full studio, like a top-down setup, mm-hmm. table, rigs, like two lights. It's like a whole, it's like, occupies like a one bedroom. And I was saying, you know, and like I, it was in my room. So literally my studio was beside where I was sleeping and in my bed. So it was really, really crap. And yeah, it was driving me crazy because the separation between work and and um, life, you know, was just so thin. Like literally, I would open my eyes and it's there, and I'm just like, I can't. <laughs> yeah, it kind of gives you a little, like not a little, but really stress stressful times. Like for me, um. It was hard because I would always give like 110% at my job, at my previous job. So there would be times that people would be sending me edits like at 7.30, 8 at night. And like, I'm like, am I, I know the laptop is there, but should I like work on it or do I not? Like, what are the boundaries? Um. So basically, I just had to learn it. Um, I have figured out a setup that works for me. So I have a large um, computer monitor and I have all my attachments. Um, So I guess for somebody who's not used to it, um, it's okay. Like there will be days that, you know, you're not gonna feel comfortable working from home that maybe you just have to go and take a walk, you know, just like physically, like wow. not in that space. Why do you like that? Okay, guys, I think I finished mine somehow. Yay. Are we ready to cut? Do it. Let's do it. Okay, so this is my like finished. Oh. So we are now gonna cut and assemble it. Yay! So what's yours, Nang? Oh. No. Okay, ready. Scissors. Are we doing the first page first? Yeah, I think this one is the easiest to cut. Do I have to cut the tracing line too? Wait, what? What did you say? Do I have to cut this one? Wait. Yeah, you're gonna cut it. And basically, you're gonna cut around the dotted lines. And okay. then you're gonna fold it. Okay. Okay. I'm so horrible at cutting. Are you? So for you, the coloring part was the easier part? Oh, everything's hard to learn about. <laughs> I'm not an artistic person. <laughs> so that's my goal. Like, I can't draw. Nico? Okay, so we're ready to cut. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm really excited. <laughs> I feel like cutting like requires more yeah, we can just chill, you know. What are you going to do, mom, with those two blocks? Oh, is that somebody asking me? Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Don't mind that. What's 
Philippines? What? Say that again. What's one of the things that you miss in the Philippines? Our cousins. Uh, but huh? Yeah. What? How about us? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are here. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you guys too. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I miss? What? Food. All the. F- <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I think you know because you're pregnant. <laughs> no, one. you know what? Maybe I don't know, but they don't have it here. Like the indai indai bicho bicho. Mhm. You know, and like that's so unique. But, and it's all like for me it's healthy because they're all rice kind of rice cake right oh. they're not like they're gluten free <laughs> yeah I mean the food is so good <laughs> yeah what about you Thiers what do you miss the most um my family, usually cousins. Um, but aside from that, I, I guess it's the people mostly. Yeah, the people. Yeah, I miss like, well, you know what's the funny thing is like, we have, we came to the U.S. and stuff like that, and you go, you go, you go from different state to different state. You're like, I'm going to travel all the U.S. But I haven't done that in the Philippines. I haven't been to Palawan. Same. So like, I haven't been to any of the other beautiful tourist destinations. I know Joy, my sister, has been traveling yeah. there. Like she went to like, I don't know, she like hiked this mountain and like, Oh she yeah, was, and Baguio, Mount, Mount Pula, did she go there? Yeah, she would she was with strangers and she just like doing well, it. Was so, so I do wanna do that. I think we should plan that. Yeah. You know what's the um the craziest thing me and Crystal did at an adventure? What? Um one time. She just, I think she was gonna go back here, so we were like, okay, let's plan like a trip just the two of us mm-hmm. to Magada. Oh and yeah. We didn't plan anything. Now we, the only plan we had was we're gonna go to the bus stop. That's it. We don't have hotels. We don't have tickets for the bus. Um, we, we don't just, know how many days we're gonna stay. Like it was around. It was probably like a long weekend, so. Mm-hmm. It was that that weekend, you know, so maybe like three three days total. And we're like, okay. And I was like, okay, I'll trust her. You know, she knows what she's doing. She's been traveling before. You know, like, okay, I'll just do this. Yeah, you, know, like, you know, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> and what? <laughs> and they got it. And us, like younger sisters, we're like, okay, they got it. <laughs> yeah. Hello, I haven't been there yet, so. It's really like an adventure. I gave you the adventure. That's what I I was there for. So to give you the adventure of your life. You you made me realize how precious my life was. <laughs> That's yeah. just my boss was here. So we went to Sagada, and it was, we couldn't go to like the whole the direct flight, the direct flight, direct like bus stop. Mm-hmm. So we had to like go to um, Banawe. So we, we went to the, the rice terraces now. Um, and we rode the bus. So cool, right? Banawe? Yeah, it, it, it was cool. But then it was like the road was just winding, you know? Like, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. How many hours was that? Was it like six, eight hours now? What? Like 10. 10 hours? 13, 13 hours, my whole life. Yeah, and it, it, you know how traffic it is too, right? Like, I think one of the hours, we were stuck in the road for like an hour, and mm-hmm. then 
she wakes me up. She wakes me up. And I go, there's, there's, there's like, we're not moving. And I was like, okay, what do you want me to do? Like, do you want me to push the box? <laughs> you want to get up? And I was like, are you crazy? We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. We don't know anyone. Um, we're just going to get out and like walk. And she was so antsy. She was like, get out, let's get out. I was like, no, no, you're going to walk for days. Yeah. You know, stay here. So we like, I convinced her to stay. <laughs> and, oh, and before that, we had this banana. Because we didn't have food, right? We didn't have this food. Why do we have food? That's so important. Yeah, let's go to like a convenience store, get some bananas, some Gatorade, you know, just to hydrate ourselves. I'm like, okay. Uh-huh. And, and, and and again, we were in the road for like hours, like 13 hours. We, we slept. We woke up. Like the banana couldn't even handle the trip. It turned from yellow to black. <laughs> then I was like, what the fuck are you doing to me? You know? Like so it's kind of just like the the banana was like it turned it turned black so fast. Just I don't know, humidity maybe or something. Well like did the wait, you rode a bus? Was it like air conditioned bus or is that an air conditioned? I don't think was it maybe yeah, I think it was. I think all the buses are usually air conditioned going there. But even still the, the bananas. <laughs> I don't know what happened to that poor banana. Um, so anyway, we, uh, we got there, Sagada, and and it was long weekend, um, I say, said earlier. Mm-hmm. And it was a time, it was a peak of... Of, uh, right. Sagada. Huh? of tourists? Yeah, the tourists, like, because everybody like, found it, found about Sagada, I'm like, oh my god, let's go to Sagada, long weekend, awesome, so there were so many people, it was packed, and we yeah. had hours looking for a, a, a place to stay, so we had to walk for, like, hours and hours to, just to find a place for us to stay, because everybody was fully bugged, and we're like, okay, and finally, we found one, yeah. and then getting food, uh, mm-hmm that day was crazy as well because the lines were so long and it was just it was just crazy. Guys are so tired from the commute and I'm, I'm making mine like yeah uh like yeah it was it was just crazy and then um so and then the next day when we can, kind of like rest up <clears throat> crystal crystal um, decided that we should go to this Belonging cave. What? And then you know, like, I was like okay, yeah, look at her. She like is laughing. <laughs> she like, like, like you. Belonging. So it's technically like we went to this guy. He was like, oh yeah, let's go. It's in a whole adventure. He didn't tell us how hard it was. He didn't tell us how long we were gonna be stuck in the cave. Uh huh. We really didn't know anything what was gonna happen. And he was like, just come with me. And we're like, okay, adventure. And then we went down into the cave where like the coffins were on the cave oh, wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're yeah the- on the side of the cave. Like- Did it feel scary? It was, because some of the coffins also fell or like, like you know, just because so like some of the coffins were on the ground and we're like, oh, oh my God lower and lower and finally like the, the guide was like okay it's time to turn on the lantern Not just gonna be a smash of colors mm-hmm. so they use this lantern to guide us and it took us um, no kidding it took us I know, I know i know i'm just gonna oh wait i missed that there's sorry um it took us like six hours to get out of the cave Wow. Everything was so slippery. There were bats everywhere. We were like hanging on for dear life. This was like, what time did you guys finish? Was it nighttime already? Yeah, it was like 11 or something. <gasps> what? Yeah, it was, it was, it was so long because we thought it was going to be like an hour or two. Turns out when he said we were in there for like two and a half hours and it was like, okay, we're halfway there. And we're like, ah, that's funny. And then <laughs> wasn't joking and the what and he wasn't joking that we were only halfway like three yeah. hours we halfway. We were like what? did you like did you i know like, wait that, that was out? did it take out? us 12 hours no. six hours, six six hours. hours. Yeah. yeah it was really fun 
Um, but I thought I was going to die every se- other second, you know. <laughs> you regretted. <laughs> It was such an experience, though. It's something I would I didn't regret. It's it's scary as hell. It's crazy. Like yeah. there was one time when we had to cross, like uh, this stone, and then in between it, it's just like pitch black. Like it's it's a uh, it's probably a road to hell. <laughs> I don't know, but it was so deep, and yeah. I really and I can't and, and I just can't let myself you go. Know, like, Sh- hold on. <laughs> You know they can't hear you. I uh, say hi to hi. Diego. Hi. Wait, how can he's they hear he's you? coloring also? They're oh, how they can hear. they hear you? You're they, on, yeah. It's over here. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So old is he now? How old are you? Eight. I just went to my friend's baptism. Mm. Yeah. He's uh, joining us for our for our jeepney activity. He should color his own. Yeah, he is. He's coloring his. This is my other doing. Copy. It's like the exotic way or something like that. Oh, like, look, 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 look. It's that. Oh, 3D? Yeah. So you better color it correctly. So anyway, that was like the scariest so did you guys, experience. Did you guys like enjoy it? Did you like find the beauty in it? Even when, it, when it's 3D, it'll look good. Yeah, um, I I love the experience. It was it was one of a kind. But I don't know if I will suggest it with for you guys. I don't want you guys to die. <laughs> we were like, this is fun. I don't need to suggest it to anyone because. <laughs> That was the scariest moment in my life. And I was so scared because I, I brought my sister, you know? Yeah, yeah. What? You have a sister? That's my sister. Oh. Diego. Yes. Diego, she, she knows you. I don't. You forgot. I don't know her. She, she was a toddler. That's right. He was a toddler then. Too. Oh, yeah. You were way smaller. You were playing with your I can't hear you. Can I feel like, um, you know, when we guys were growing up, we we would sleep, have sleepovers. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And then we'd watch, we'd rent like scary movies, and then we'd be together, and then we kind of just would be laughing, right? Because sometimes, like you know, we're too scared, but we kind of just laugh it off. <laughs> it feel like. I feel like if I were to do this spelunking thing, I want to be with like, you know, our cousins. True. Yeah, that would be fine. But I don't know. I'm so, I was so scary. But I, but we do guide. So the guides helped us through, and I think you'll be safe. I think I'm. I was just so paranoid, and it was my first experience. That's why. There was a moment where she like. Stop and hyperventilated. Okay. Yeah. How am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to do this? Yeah. How am I supposed to do this? And yeah, yeah, it was scared. So she was like, um, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I was like, you have to do it. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck here. You know, I could not say like, you can do it. Like, you have to. So she's like, okay. And she had to jump from one rock to so did I. And I was just like, I just have to do it. It's, it's crazy. And there's like, it's a, it's a drop. Like if you, I don't know, by chance, it's not like that big of a jump, but it's a jump. Okay. And if you don't make that jump, it's it's a way down. And you're like, oh. Wait, do you, like, how how is your safety? Like, nothing? <laughs> We're safe. <laughs> Is whatever we are because <laughs> like if you were doing like rock climbing you would like, you would have a harness no we didn't have any harness oh my god we have did we did we have shoes or sandals we have sandals huh we were wearing our sandals thirst did you like guys get any injury no i don't think so no. 
Oh, we had a harness one time. There's a rope climbing up like the another another um I don't know what you call it, but we had to climb with like a waterfall. Remember Thurs? Waterfall. Like a waterfall inside the the cave. Yeah, I think so. And we had to like hug the Wow, 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 wow. It was it was a crazy experience. Oh, did you tell her about us um, riding on top of the jeep meters? Oh yeah, we did. Good. <laughs> I don't think I ever had tried that. Like you just hold on, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're on the edge of the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> Not only were you looking above the jeepney, but you were yeah. looking above the jeepney, above the, the hill, like the edge of the mountain. So like, ah. <laughs> the view is nice. Don't look down. <laughs> Wait, there's, did we record that? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, did you guys make a video about it? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Is it on Facebook? Yeah, I think so. I posted it like the day. Wow. Yeah, maybe I should go look at that. That was a time when I was with me. We should we should do we should do something. Maybe 2020. To 2023, we should go to Palawan. Oh, I heard, yeah. Wait, Palawan, Koron, what is that? Yeah, That's in Palawan, right? Sister. I'm not sure. Um, my sister went there maybe in 2018, too, when we were there. Smell. Like I'm down, I'm game. Let's do it. Yeah, because I haven't been to Palawan. And I feel like I have so many friends that went here. Um, yeah. We had like this uh, tour guide that took them to like the best places to go there where you can just be alone and nobody else. It was really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. So exciting. Okay, I cut all my pieces, guys. How are you? That was fast. That was fast. What, like, what did you do, magic? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Oh. Is it magic? Is it magic? Okay, I'm finished with the first page. So, there's an instruction for this part. For, um, is it the front is it part of it? So what you're going to do is you're going to take like a pencil and then you're going to roll roll that part. Oh. So then it kind of looks like this. Oh, cute. And then that's how like it's going to be attached in the front. Ta-da. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're it already. It's so cutting Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I messed up with that one. Uh, there you go. What? I messed up with that one. I put a Peralta. <laughs> On the windshield. <laughs> On the windshield. <laughs> That's fine. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. you never just can't see it the wrong <laughs> you know it's like the frosted glass it just has a design <laughs> so same thing guys for the hood I like kind of curved it if you can see uh. so I'm gonna start assembling mine I guess um I can like narrate while I'm doing that. And if you guys have any questions. So I think I'm gonna use I 
I'm gonna use a combination of both. Like I'll just have a glue stick. So I think I'm gonna do the back first. So this one, I folded this part. I'm gonna attach the glue on all the sides. I put glue there on the sides and then I'm gonna attach it. This part. Oh, I forgot to roll this one. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I got the little thing that makes it, it's okay, I'll tape it. <laughs> yeah, you can tape it. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I put the back part. Wow, that was fast. So I guess I'll do the bumper. You know, Tiger would. Tiger would have a sandwich. Yeah. Oh, Lee. So, do you have any advice to people who want to start their own business? Advice. Um, I feel like now is the perfect time to do it. For me personally, like the pandemic is a crazy, crazy time, like once in our lifetimes, not a good um, that we're going to go through it. So like making something, having a crazy idea doesn't sound so crazy anymore. Wait, Ram, Ram, can you mute your Can you say that like the whole thing again now? Yeah, so I said like the pandemic is a crazy period that we're probably just gonna go through it once in our lifetime. That, you know, if you do something crazy during this time, it doesn't look crazy. <laughs> like, it's kind of just like, okay, this is the standard and like, <laughs> you can basically do your own thing. So, like I said, like it's an opportunity for me. Um, so, it's okay, just, you know, if it's something that you really, really want to do, you're going to find a way to do it. And if, you know, it's something that's not for you, then, you know, you tried it, you did something. So it's really about, you know, what you want to do for your life. And I've always, like, told people that I wanted to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. So this is this is me making it happen. I feel like right now is the perfect opportunity to do whatever you want, like especially if you're stuck at home. Mm -hmm. Question, did you like, did you gain any new pandemic skills? I thought you said, did you gain any skills? <laughs> <Wait. laughs> like definitely. <laughs> Not the COVID nineteen way, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gained in some way. Skills, skills though, I can say, um, I think I I learned how to cook better. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I. Me too. Really, I wasn't even telling myself, like, yeah, I can cook, okay. Um, but I was just, I was just saying, I'm like, I'm not the best. Let's say I'm the best. It astounds me about how I could actually do things that, that, that I want. Like, for example, before uh, I would never get to cook, I, I cooked a, a Thanksgiving turkey. and Oh, yeah, you did. Can you imagine? 
Yeah, I cut like adobo and it was so good. And like the things just I wanna crave, you know, I was like, damn. It's like, if you actually like, I didn't even have to do that much. I was just like, okay, let's just follow the instructions. Yeah. That's amazing, there's realize that nothing really is that difficult unless you try it you know exactly like you know the stuff that for me personally I would procrastinate I'd be like no that's a lot of work and then mm -hmm. when I tried to think about it I was like it's not really a lot of work and then once you do it actually takes you like a shorter amount of time yeah exactly so just try it how about you now what skills did you did you gain any skills? Um, I started writing at the beginning of the year when it, when the pandemic broke out, and writing has always been my struggle. Mm -hmm. But somehow I actually finished five chapters with two thousand five hundred words. <coughs> um, each chapter, so that was something like. I never thought I could do, and I had to re. But I had to redo it again because I had to change the story up a bit. But I've been going to school regarding like creative writing. Mm -hmm. That's fun, and I actually finished it last week. Wow! Congratulations. And we only just focused on two chapters, though. But I'm actually happy about it. And yeah, um, cooking as well. I bought a recipe book so I would just like copy, like, you know, just follow the direction and surprisingly it tastes good. Do you have like a type of dish that you, or like a meat that you, well, for me personally, like I don't cook fish. Yeah. So maybe if I'm gonna learn something, that would be like a challenge for me to learn how to cook fish. Oh yeah. Well, normally with fish or like salmon, preferably for me, you just put it in the oven. Mm -hmm. You just let it cook. Yeah, everybody says it's so easy to cook fish. I go buy like the fish that's already deboned and degutted, you know. Yeah. So the challenge would be to like. <laughs> How about you, Lee? What was your new skill? Oh. Um... My new skill, I learned how, how to um, do SketchUp and it's a 3D modeling program. So I guess that kind of like helped me when I was building this one to like be able to paint and screen. So, and also like I would um, take classes, online classes. Um, uh, could you mute? Yeah. Thank you. Um, so remember tears when we were doing the uh, history of parole video? Yeah. And I did like some animation. Mm -hmm. So that was something I hadn't done. I like know. I, I like learned I like learned how to animate before but it's been like years so it was nice to revisit that um and see if you know I actually like doing animation it, you were so good at it I was like whoa and we were talking about it and I was like, oh, if you could do this and you could do that, and you're like, and you don't have to, maybe we could just cut it or dissolve it or something like that. And you're like, no, I got to figure it out because, you know, that makes it sense. And it turned out to be so good. And your drawings are so cute and so amazing. Thank you. I want to do something like that again. I think that was uh, like how you were animating it. 
it has so much potential yeah so i think like 2021 is gonna be a lot of new things um and i'm really down if you want to do another collab yeah for sure yeah remember we're gonna work on our comic strips <laughs> yeah our comic strips um and then i was talking to them crystal and she was gonna make um she was gonna need some illustration and i was like i'm game yeah for the So for for the stuff that she's writing right now, she yeah, wanted illustration. That's what. Oh, well, didn't you do that a little bit before? Like you do that on the side, no? You design for like books. Um. So what I did for work before was design a lot of books, but they were very like corporate material. Mm -hmm. So I really, when I was in college, in art school. I would like be creative with like books. Mm -hmm. I'd make books like for this small or like a square or like I would make a book that was like this big. Mm. Um, so I guess like during this pandemic, it's about like tapping more into that creative um, sort of like what I like to do in college. Mm -hmm. And I haven't been doing that for my like previous work. So it's kind of nice to be able to revisit that and actually do stuff for fun. Yeah. Because I think that's what like in art school, um, for my experience, like anything goes and basically you're your own like client. Yeah. And then you come out and do this corporate thing. Like, oh, it's like more of the same stuff or like it's not as nice as yeah. you want. You know, you can't. Yeah, it kind of gets like repeated, like you're doing the same thing again and again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't get to practice your creative side. But I think also depends on like the company you work for because there are a lot of um, publishers, book publishers that are promoting or, you know, are promoting, um, you know, uh, really nice artworks. Mm hmm. You know what now like the artworks right now um podcasting artworks are actually being promoted so much just because i don't know what it is but they're I, the graphics that they make the drawings are so nice and creative and i feel like someone like you could totally work for like pod podcasts and like create artworks for them and make illustrations yeah make illustrations for oh, them i haven't even thought of that yeah, they, if you should, if you look at all the podcasting um, um, graphic designs, it's all very, it's all very uh, creative and very tasteful art-wise. Okay, I'll look into that. Because there are things that, you know, you never knew, like, there was that type of job. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I didn't even know that I had, my job is a type of job. Um, let me just get my battery. Yeah. I'm finished with mine. <laughs> I haven't finished wood cutting yet. It's quite loud here, guys. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. Oh, I'm and I'm awake now. Two guys? Is this two guys? I have a special addition to my thing. I finished cutting mine. Do you do that one first? Yeah, so you fold the, the lines in the top. So while they're still cutting, I'm going to show my finished product. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow, that's cool. It's either one of us. There was no rhyme or reason for the design. No, you like innocent. More like a, then, kind of look like corals or something. Mm, yeah, I like the little waves. Oh, and the top too, also wavy. 
Dale, come on. No, no. <laughs> so I put the bumper there too. Okay, and then after is, uh, what is this? So I'm gonna do some additional stuff. Something extra. We're almost there, guys. Oh, Lee, I have a su suggestion for maybe a potential project. How about you make a Filipino game board with a jeepney as your... As a baby. Yeah. <laughs> I could. I haven't. Like, how would that game be? You know, like. Para para. Another level of like creativity, like you know. Um, how about adventure? Like, you can go to like you know, Philippines has so many places to go. Oh, yeah, like a like a snake and ladder thing. Could be. Could be. Yeah, I guess my my products right now are like really like printable stuff. Mm. So if I could like translate that into a printable, that would be cool. Mm -hmm. Another another aspect of you know my products is I want them to be educational. Mm. You you glue this now, no? Let me see. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You know what? What? I was like, I didn't know what to use. Yeah. Hmm. So I want to show you Nika's, um, my sister's jeepney. So she basically put like these wheels. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> she like used, I think like chopsticks and like, so it really like rolls. <laughs> <laughs> that's creative i was gonna say that i was like oh if i could make the wheels if i could make the wheels for them, that'd be fun. yeah you could do you could use like the the cap of like some of the water bottles yeah um, how are you feeling with cutting now doing okay yeah, uh, this is my last one now. There. So I can't wait. I'll be gluing the first part. Okay, come on. Let's Separate these parts. They're playing game boards. Okay. <laughs> That's why <laughs> suggested the game. <laughs> I feel like that would be a good collab. I feel like it was if it was like me just making it, it's like all in my head. I'm like, how do I like figure this out? Maybe eventually I'll make games. Who knows? Who knows? I know, right? You never know. Everything's a possibility. Mm -hmm. And you can't, and you can't always say like, no, I'm not going to do that. Because, you know, you might just try it. How, how is your cutting, Therese? You're doing good? You cut yeah. everything? Yeah, I'm done with cutting and gluing them now. Cool, cool, cool. I have to it's like turns purple. I mean, turn it's purple and then it turns into white. Fancy. 
purple and turns into white. Ooh. So we're talking about like what you could suggesting, you know, um, what you could do in the future. And so what are your plans for 2021? Any anything working in progress right now? Yeah, so like I said, I wanted to make books. Hmm. Um so I guess I, the thing I can disclose, <laughs> disclose right now is like, it's going to be an illustration book, mm -hmm. um, but it is going to be Filipino related. Really? So stay tuned, maybe, um, maybe before the summer, maybe spring, I can launch a book, which is so exciting and also scary. It's, nothing I haven't done it that's cool well you're gonna make a book mm -hmm. no I'm, this is the third part the back this is the roof that is the hood the hood so I have to roll it upwise or down so down so it's like that makes sense Are you excited for all your coming project? It's exciting and also it feels like overwhelming. You feel like sometimes you don't have enough time. Um, you always make time. I feel like for me, how I finish like all my other products in my shop is mm there are times that I would stay up late until like two in the morning because I want to finish something. Wow. So I guess that's what they say. Like, it doesn't feel like work. Mm. Like I, I enjoy what I'm doing. And sometimes I just set those deadlines for myself. Like, okay, I really have to get this out there so I can like start something new. Mm. Yep. I know, I think that's so important. Uh, finding something that you love and you you decide to put the effort in it is like so amazing because you realize like all those efforts aren't for a waste, you know? It's like, oh, I get it. It's like, I'm learning, this is for me anyway. So it makes it all worth it. Yeah. And you don't complain. You just kind of just say, <laughs> like I'm the only employee in my. <laughs> yeah. So I have to enjoy it. Yeah, and I just I just love what I do. I like making illustrations. I like that you know my work is accessible to a lot of people, and I'm so happy. Like I've had buyers from all over the country and also like international buyers wow. so even like us like doing this paper jeepney from like different states like it's amazing yeah i was gonna say how does it feel knowing that you know your products people are doing it practicing it buying it and like giving it a gift it feels so good it feels it makes me feel happy it makes me feel um like accomplished mm -hmm. like i did something and people saw the value in it awesome i'm just coloring some of the pieces that i forgot to color <laughs> So I'm doing some back backward stuff. How's your assembly now? You doing okay? Attaching the hood. Thank you. 
parts that I missed. Bad luck. We're all so concentrated with our genies. No. It's silence, but it's okay. Leanne made this. Actually, you made it now. You colored it. Oh, you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> I meant... What do you call it? You illustrated it. Where does this one go? Which one? You know what? I have another piece. So it's good to get into hand right, left and right bumpers. Oh, they're the bumpers. Where do, can you show me where you put? Look, look. <laughs> yeah, you finished now? No, I still need. Oh, do I put? Do I, I put fold, this? You fold where do it, I? Huh? Where do I put this? It's on top. Oh, okay. Wait, how did you guys attach this one? Wait, can I see? Yeah, you just paste it. Oh, so I have to color this part. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is like gonna be on the side. Oh. So I don't fold it. I thought I have to fold it. Yeah, I folded it. Wait, what? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now I get it. Okay. I have to put the other one. This is like so much fun. Like if you have a kid, it's like yeah. Honestly. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And it's also I nice to do like, especially now it's the holiday season. Nobody going anywhere. I mean, people haven't been going anywhere anyway. Mm -hmm. um, Look, oh my god, it's becoming something. Yeah. Mine looks like at the magic school bus. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Wait, so how do I do this one? Which part? Oh, so you fold that, and then the okay. top part you're going to roll with a pencil. The top? This one? Mm hmm. Oh. I say it's going to curve. It will curve like that. Okay, and then the bottom part. And then the bottom part, you fold it so that there's like a step. So that part is going to be the step here. Oh, also, I have to color that. Yeah. Mm. So oh, these are my two cheap names. I wish I colored the side, but I like the front. Look at that. Oh, I like it. Oh, that is cool. I like that. I like it too. I'm going to clean up my coloring stuff. Did you guys find the assembly like hard or challenging? Probably would be, but not really. Like after he explained it, also kind of like it just takes you a moment to understand like how. But yeah. once you get it, you're kind of like, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. Get it. Wait, can you show me? Is, is this 
is he supposed to be here? So you fold it so it's like a step? Um, brilliant. Am I like showing it? Yeah. Wait. Can I see again? Oh, I messed that up again. <laughs> well, well, well. Lola. How did you do that? So what, can I see your two parts now? Oh, because there's still this. Oh. Yeah. That's wait, the wait. Part. So wait, I do that. Mm -hmm. That one you can do. I... So wait, this one. So attach the back first now. Attach this one. This part first. Uh-huh. Do you glue okay. it? Okay. Okay, I'll glue that. Yeah. And then I and this is how I folded it, right? Yeah. Like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. I'm actually gonna try something. I like printed this one in like a mini version. I don't know. Oh, it's not focusing. All right. Oh, there's a mini version? I like printed it in a smaller size and actually I can just try it right now. While we're doing stuff. Sally, what does this little boxy thing go? How do you attach it? Let me. Oh, I think you got the old version, Tears. Did you? Because yeah. mm. the new version has like a different bumper. I think uh, you have the version of my file. Wait, and then this one, what happened here? So you're just going to glue it uh, uh, this part. It's bigger. <laughs> oh, because I have to fold it. It's <sighs> getting dark. Oh, that's so bright. Okay. What time is it? It's already 3.30. Guys, we've been coloring for two hours. <laughs> two hours. Crazy. It's okay. Can I see your handle? Can I see the file that, I, that you have? I think that's the old one. Uh, the second page. Oh, yeah. That was the old one. Oh, this was the bumper. Yeah. It's a little bit harder. That's what, um, that's why I updated it. Uh. Um, so if you can go on the file, you can download the newest version. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, I, I downloaded other day maybe that's why i didn't update yet yeah sorry okay it is in a hard mode but look at it it looks pretty good though okay. and then like like once we're all done we're gonna show our jeepneys and um, I don't, I actually don't know how to take a picture from Zoom. Um, it's, it's downloaded. I think you can do screen cap if you want to. I guess, yeah. And then you guys can like send me a picture of you and your jeepneys. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be cool. Uh, 
I'm confused by the back. By this one. So you like fold it? Ah, oh, so this one fold on the side. Yeah. So basically okay. you're going to follow like, the bumper where it mm -hmm. is. And then this is the bridge. I like it. I like it. Oh, you're for... done, Thurs. I'll, I'll show my thing. I like mine. Look at that. I'm gonna make another one. Yes, yeah, so I have guys. I have so many jeepneys. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> And it's nice to see, like, they're like, look at that. It's like, they're, they're like, 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 they're doing like a motorcade or something. I kind of I messed up on the top. I was going to make a flag. Mm -hmm. But you know what's really cool about this is that you just print one and another one and you can do another one. Exactly. Like, you can't really... Well, for me personally, like as a designer, I like overthink it. I'm like, it has to be perfect. Then I can like redo that part, right? Yeah, which is cool because I'm like, okay, I can just make another. And it's like you buy one file and you can just print and print and print again. Exactly. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is so cool. <laughs> Is Wait, it, but I'm not done yet. <laughs> is it reveal time yet? Oh. Wait, where do I put this? Readers. See, I should have started you folded it in half. It's basically gonna fit like. Uh, oh, so this one flaps the other way. Yeah. Um. So if you like redownload the new file tiers, it will be easier to put the bumper. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I lost my other. Okay, there you go. Maybe I should have used tape though. What did you use? Glue? Glue. I use a combination of both. But even even if I like use the tape here for the bumper, like you don't really see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just clear tape. Ho, ho, ho. And then you can hide stuff on it, under it. Oh, yeah. Where's that glue? You don't know where it is. <laughs> the treasure hunt. Oh, not this way. Yeah. I'm going to stop the casting on this one. Mm. Yay! <laughs> oh yeah, let's stop this one. Two. Okay, are you guys... Ready to reveal? Ah, what is Manang? Sorry. Manang is like so, the crystal is so. Um... No, I have a bullet, bullet earlier. <laughs> so it's so hard to handle. He likes to play with me, so. No problem. Wait. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I have to color it. Me party, keep me party. Keep me party. Hey. This was so fun. I know. Oh Done. This is the last part. I'm not gonna put the other one because I don't wanna <laughs> take so long. <laughs> The other oh, one. Okay. Yeah. There, my guy. 
Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look, 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 I have a review. What, 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 what? Oh, oh my gosh, that's cool. That's you guys. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. <laughs> There's, we we want to be a passenger there. Oh, we could be <laughs> in the house. Yeah, like my best friend there. Aww. Yeah. Oh, and the top part. Yeah, show show your design now. There. Yeah. Who's what is the black part? Oh, that's... Peralta. The driver's gonna go, boom, boom. <laughs> Wow, shadows. Wow, there's like, you know, the vines. <laughs> yeah. uh, can I see the front now? This. Ooh, I like it. Pink. And then the top, the top part. Is it? Yeah. You can't really see it. It's just. It looks like, really. um, like a different language. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> This is so oh. fun. How about your tears? Yours. Put your thing on the spotlight. You can just look at it in the front. Yes. I like the blue. Red. Nice. Hello. Okay. <laughs> but I was going to like write the flag here, but I was like, oh, no. But it's okay. I'll do it later. But look at it. Yeah. It's going to be a Philippine flag. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> And then it goes, it's like Fiesta. It's like a Fiesta Disney does. It does, yeah. Okay, so cool. Look at all of them. I did that. Congratulations, guys. Oh, let me exit this one now, okay? Huh? I'll exit the one with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, right there. Oh, but you don't have audio now. Last two. But I Yay, we did it, guys. We did it. Beep, beep. Thank you so much for spending two hours hours with me. Wait, do it again. Do it. Oh, get it again. Huh? Oh. Oh, there I muted it. So I just want to say thank you, Therese and Crystal, for spending the whole two hours, more than two hours with me. I hope you guys had fun with the jeepney. Tell people about it. Um and yeah, that's it. Yeah, it was so cool. Two hours flew by. I was like, what? Two hours has already passed by, but look at how we made it. It's crazy. It's awesome. And I have my own jeepney. So yeah. fun. Amazing. Feels like you're in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> look at and you can customize it. Three people, three exactly. different. Exactly. Three different designs. Like you could do, you could do whatever you want. Same template. Mm -hmm. Only go get yours at Etsy right now because yes. freaking cool. Yes. Okay, guys. That's it. Oh, your audio. Oh, so yeah. Go go ahead. Go get yours at Money Money Art. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. I I guess that's where we're gonna end, guys. Thank you so much for being with me. I miss you. Love I miss you. you. Bye. I'll I'll close out of this now, and then we can see um on YouTube a condensed version of it. Yay! Bye. Yay! Bye. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday.